Hello, I'm Jasit Singh Deegan and I'm very, very pleased to be introducing the wonderful Girbal Singh Banisar. Girbal is one of the brightest talents to have emerged from the UK and is one of the world's leading exponents of Esraj and Dhruba. He began his training in 1994 uh, from the wonderful Ustad Surjit Singh Ji and Girbal has now grown to become an, a truly phenomenal player. I'm very, very proud to call him my friend and colleague and um, and I'm very, very humbled to be um, asked to introduce him today. So here is Girbal Singh Banisar. Sashrikal, Namaste, Adab and hello to you all. Thank you very much, Jasdeep, for your kind introduction. Thank you also to Annapurna Indian Dance for this wonderful series, A Journey with Indian Rhythms. Today I am demonstrating a wonderful instrument called the Esraj, which belongs to the lute family of instruments and is played with a bow. The best way to demonstrate the instrument is to play it. So I will play a short rendition of Rag Ahir Bhairav, set to Teen Taan, 16 beat time cycle. <laughs> If we take a closer look at the Israj, we can see that it is made from wood with metal frets, much like the fretboard of a guitar or sitar. Lower down, it has a resonator, which is covered with goat skin. There are four main strings made from steel and brass, and there are 15 sympathetic strings, which are tuned based on the rag or scale. When these are tuned properly, they vibrate and resonate, creating an ethereal sound similar to that of the human voice. It's one of the reasons that the Israj is commonly used as a vocal accompaniment instrument. The Israj is often referred to as the voice of the Sikhs. And it's prominently played in Gurmat Kirtan amongst the Namtari Sikhs. The Israj was also given importance by Ravindranath Tagore. So today, Israj is heard mainly in Punjab and in Bengal. There are two main ways of playing. The first mode is called the Gaiki Ang, which translates to the singing style. And this style involves a lot of intricacy with the left hand and also subtle changes, subtle variations in the bowing. To demonstrate this, I will sing uh, an, a few short phrases of some Gurmat Gitan based in Rag Khamaj. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
translates to the plucking style of playing like you would find in a sitar or a sarod or lina and in this style particular importance is given to the fast movements of the bow as well as movements of the left hand i will demonstrate this by playing a short rendition in rag kafi <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Satsriya Kaha.